deputy involved shooting in the city of Dania Beach. It all started with deputies responding to reports of a woman chasing another woman with a meat cleaver. Let's get right out to Local 10 News reporter Todd Tong, and he is live with this wild top story. Todd. Lori and Calvin, wild is right. A chaotic morning in this Dania Beach neighborhood. We did speak with the sister of the victim, and unfortunately she says that her sister has been having some mental health issues. I heard three shots, about three shots. Just after 11 a.m., shots rang out in this quiet Dania Beach neighborhood after BSO dispatch got a 911 call from someone saying that there was a female armed with some form of hatchet or meat cleaver chasing around another female. Deputies arrived to the 100 block of Northeast 3rd Street within minutes. BSO says after warning the woman to drop the weapon, deputies say she charged them. Our deputies fired several rounds, striking the uh, suspect and was able to treat her along with our fire rescue services. So that's what we have right now. A neighbor who didn't want to go on camera was shocked at what she heard and then saw. Three shots went off. Her stomach was bleeding and her hip was bleeding. Okay. And she fell to the ground. A worker across the canal snapped a picture shortly after the shooting. A BSO helicopter took aerial crime scene photos as crime scene techs worked below. From Sky 10, you can see what appears to be a shotgun, but the sheriff says it was a weapon meant to de-escalate the possibility of a deadly situation. Yeah, that is one of our uh, less lethal weapons. As the call was occurring, we were hoping to be able to get the less lethal weapon up close enough to where we can kind of reduce the uh, lethal aspect. The woman shot was taken to Memorial Regional Hospital. I can't speak to the nature of the injuries uh, directly, but I understand they are survivable. It does shock me because, like I said, I've been living here for a while, and, you know, we never have any problems in this neighborhood. As I said, we spoke to that woman's sister. We tried to get an update on her condition, but they couldn't give us one. However, as you heard the sheriff say, they think that she will survive uh, the gunshot wound. Also, FDLE is taking over this investigation since the deputies did, deputies did discharge their weapons. In Dania Beach, Todd Tong and Local 10 News.